Alrighty guys, what's going on? It's Joseph here back from the LEGO Star Wars video here today. Guys, we have some brand new Bad Batch set images and leaks. Let's get right into the video. Before I get into the video though guys, I do want to give a reminder that I'm doing a free set giveaway to 1000 subs. It's either going to be a Power First Battle Pack or an AAT. So please make sure that you guys like and subscribe. We're really almost at that goal. So the first image I want to show you guys is going to be this one here of the minifigures. And as you can tell, we get a glimpse of Wrecker, Hunter, and Tech. And I'm not going to lie, these minifigures actually look pretty good. Lego did a good job with them. I will say that from the previous leaks, I was a little bit more, you know, I complained a little bit more about the set. But I got to say these minifigures here, just this image in general, looks really good. They killed Wrecker. Um, you know, his Iron Man helmet looks great. Hunter also looks good. He has the, pretty much a standard clone helmet mold, and the printing looks great, right? And Tech also looks pretty good. So I got to give credit where credit is due. Lego did a good job with these three minifigures for sure. Good job, Lego. This next image here is kind of like a promotional thing for the Bad Bat shuttle itself. I believe these were accidentally leaked on the Lego website for a short or a very small period of time, I guess you could say. And uh, it's just like a better, you know, more interesting image of the, you know, Lego Star Wars set itself in action, like what you'd see on the box or something maybe, like the back of the box, you know, that kind of thing. And the shuttle looks okay here. I mean, I'm still not a big fan of the shuttle. I don't think anyone can really like look at this image and say the shuttle was really any better than it was when we first got a glimpse at it. I mean, maybe it looks a little bit better from the side. I don't know, but it's still kind of small, kind of weird. The proportions are a little bit out of, you know, out of proportion, a little bit kind of wonky looking. The color again is still not super accurate. I mean, it looks a little bit better here with, you know, different lighting and that kind of thing. But that first image was not very good looking, but still, I mean, this is still a blue and red ship. It doesn't really look like the traditional Bad Batch shuttle that, you know, you think of when you think of the Bad Batch shuttle. So still the shuttle's not great in my opinion, but we get some glimpses of the minifigures here and also a couple of looks at the speeders as well. If there is anything about this shuttle, I do want to say it's definitely certainly small, but also going back to the minifigures and speeders, the speeders look good. We get that gray Imperial Bark speeder along with that lime green um, Bad Batch speeder, I guess you could say. And obviously the Bad Batch are taking on some opponents uh, or at least an, a one opponent um, in this image. We see the Gronk droid. We also obviously get the look at some of the hair molds. We can see Tech. He looks pretty good. His hair mold looks great. Um, we also got Wrecker. He doesn't have any hair, but still, you can get a glimpse of him without his helmet. And then I believe we also have their... Um, well, I was kind of confused there for a second, and uh, it's because I was looking at the image, and I'm like, well, so we have like... Right, the three clones that have helmets, correct? And uh, in the image right here, we have Wrecker, Tech, and then Hunter should be here somewhere, right? And uh, he has hair, right? He has like that Rambo hair going. And uh, there's a minifigure next to Wrecker here who has the hair that looks like, you know, um, Hunter's hair. But I'm not sure. I don't think that's actually Hunter because there's also this other minifigure who doesn't have a helmet on and he's just bald. And I think, I think that's supposed to be Hunter because Hunter obviously has a helmet. We saw that last image that where he included the helmet and he's, in, you know, it's in the set. But in this promotional image, I guess he just is bold. So I think Lego actually put on the wrong hair for whoever that is over there. I'm not sure if that's Echo or some random guy, or maybe that is their hair. They have the knife, but interesting. Interesting. Um, that might be uh, Hunter. I mean, they have a knife and they have the hair, but they don't have the helmet. And obviously, with the last image, we saw the helmet. And this other guy down here just doesn't have a helmet. So then maybe that's, I think that's supposed to be Echo down there, that guy who's bald, but he has a helmet next to him. Maybe that's his helmet. I don't know. I just don't see um, Hunter's helmet in this set so even though it was on the last image that we saw so i don't know where it is it's not lying down anywhere maybe that's echo over there maybe that is hunter's helmet just next to the wrong person i don't know a little bit confusing i'm not gonna lie but still i imagine that we do have hunter and echo in this set so that is a nice touch i guess now the last minifigure we see guys is obviously the imperial person he obviously is own or owns the speeder that's his speeder so that is an imperial speeder but uh who that is i'm not too sure i imagine just crosshair um, I'm not sure if it looks exactly like him, but that probably is Crosshair, I guess, you know, kind of leaks something about the show. The show comes out in two days, so kind of a bummer if that is indeed Crosshair and this was a leak, but I think it was kind of evident that a lot of people thought he was going to turn to the Imperials anyway, but I, I do imagine that is Crosshair. I don't really know, you know, who else that could be. Nobody knows, right? Nobody's seen the show, so I imagine it has to be Crosshair. He's got a sniper. He's got Imperial armor. It just looks like it's him. Maybe it's just another stealth clone trooper. I don't know, but I imagine in a Bad Batch shuttle, they'd have all the Bad Batch characters. Um, so it's probably crosshair guys. Now the next image is just an image of the Bad Batch shuttle in action along with the speeders. We get the lime green speeder and the imperial speeder and then the Bad Batch shuttle flying. I mean it looks better when it's flying in this kind of angle where it's all set up and the wings are down. Um, you know, it doesn't look terrible the build itself. It still is a little bit small. And the wings do look maybe a little bit longer. The top fin looks kind of a little bit smaller. But uh, still proportion wise it's not great. But uh, it looks a little bit better in this position I guess. Um, still, why the color choice? You know. I don't know. Maybe they'll repaint it in the show, but it's just kind of interesting. I will say that. 
Um, but this definitely, I guess, makes it look a little bit more appealing or better, I guess you could say. Anyways, though, guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think of these leaked images and stuff. I think the shuttle and the set in general look decent. I mean, the shuttle isn't great, but with the minifigures and just the overall stuff you get, it does look okay. Um, you know, I think a lot of people would have liked just like a full-on, really beautiful and well-done shuttle. This isn't great, but uh, it's okay, I guess. And, uh, you know, it's its own little thing. But the minifigures do look really good, I will say that. So that's definitely a plus. And the speeder's obviously a nice little throw-in. So it's an okay set. Um, obviously, it's going to be a lot different when we see it in person, see official, you know, HD images and what everything looks like. But I'm not going to lie, it looks okay. I feel like I like it more now than I did when we got it first revealed a couple weeks back. But as always, guys... Please make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you all next time.